Right, then the uh, spine at the moment is on temporary bars. Um, these are just high enough so that I could work on the ribs and the cartilage. Uh, now that I've assembled the legs, well, I've assembled the uh, one of the back legs, just to show you how you work out the, the height. So basically, the position of the leg I want is about there. So uh, what I'm going to do is hold that there and then measure up to where the where that will seat in the pelvis. So get my tape measure extended. Should have got that out first, it would have been easier. So we've got one hand. So that's the height of the leg. That's the angle that I want it at. So I'm going to measure now from the top of the femur to the socket. And now I know that this needs to go up. I've measured the distance it needs to go up by. So if I cut this bar longer, when I cut the proper bar, I'll cut it longer by that amount, then the leg will be at the right height to fit into the socket. Um, the front is, I'm going to set the angle of the front uh, to go with the position of the animal and then build the, build the angle of the leg to fit where the scapula needs to be. So I'm going to get the back legs on first, uh, so the next job is cutting this bar to the height and the re uh, for the reason that I've said it would be, do it would be to do that. Right, the spine at the moment is on a temporary support, so these bars are not the right length obviously because there's the back leg and uh, there's the ball joint and there's the socket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a bar to replace this temporary bar. I need to work out the height that this needs to be. The way I do that is uh, quite simple really, is put the leg on the base and then I can measure from the top of the femur to the socket and that will give me a measurement. So I've got there 10 inches. So basically when I cut the bar, it needs to be 10 inches longer than this bar to lift the pelvis up by 10 inches so that this ball joint will fit in the socket. That's how you work out the height. Right, so I've cut this bar to length. Um, I think it'll go over the bar. It's, this is 16 then, the, the temporary one, but the, uh, the other one only 14. So I'm gonna lift, lift the spine away, take off the temporary bar, and place it with the, the one that I've cut to length. Now obviously the, the, the front bar is going to need to be longer as well, so I'm going to lift the whole thing up and drop that back in. And then I can measure how much higher I want the front. Basically I want the, I want the neckline to be in line with the pelvis, so this front bar needs to be uh, a little bit longer. I'm just going to grab my tape measure. That should be okay there while I grab my tape measure. That was behind me. Never mind. So the front bar that length so I'm measuring seven inches longer than the temporary support so now I shall go cut another bar seven inches longer and then that will be the finished height of the skeleton
Okay, so I've cut the front support bar. Um, I don't know if it was fully clear what I've made, mentioned about the height, but basically with the reference picture that I used earlier, the, the bottom of the neck is roughly in line with the, with the pelvis ball socket. So what I, what I did was basically uh, lifted, lifted the neck here to get the, that in, in line to the height that I wanted to go with my reference picture and then measured the, the distance that I needed to lift the bar by. So now I'm going to replace the temporary one. And put it onto a, a bar that will be the permanent one. So the thread bar that I'm sliding this steel tube over is 10mm and the actual tube is 14mm steel. So now, because these are cut, cut parallel, I need to lift the back end as well and put them in together. So now the height uh, is set and that is the final height that I will be building the legs to at the front and the back leg that we measured earlier when I measured the back leg now that when that's sitting on the base that socket will fit in perfectly um, so that's the way that um, I personally set the height of my skeletons there's different ways you can do it. You could have a, you could have a bar, a, a nut on the bar and a shorter tube and just wind the nut up till you get it to a height that you want and then measure. Uh, I've done that before if you really fine tuning, but because the leg's already built, the actual measurement to the socket is um, it's set in stone really because the leg's already built. So um, e either way, you will get to the end result of the skeleton being at the height that you want it. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Cheers. The steel tube that I mentioned, I mean, I, uh, there's steel tube suppliers, you probably get it online. I go to a local DIY shop with an orange banner. Um, and the steel just comes in raw steel like this. So basically I, it's rubbed down and then I, I spray it. I prefer black to match the base. Uh, I've got some on aluminium as well. For smaller skeletons I use aluminium bar. Um, so that's the bar cupboard. Uh, next job will be fitting the legs. So if you uh, wanna subscribe and uh, turn on your notifications and then when uh, I upload new videos, you'll get to see the new stuff coming out. Uh, next job up is doing the legs, so we'll catch you soon.